good day, library friends. This is Miss Claudia. I'm glad to see you today. We're continuing our October Halloween story times. And uh, today I'm going to start with a song. And um, since all my little pumpkins are stuck to my fingers, I have to do it, <laughs> it first, okay? So here we go. One little, two little, three little pumpkins, four little, five little, six little pumpkins, seven little, eight little, nine little pumpkins, ten little pumpkins in a pumpkin patch. Let's do it one more time. One little, two little, three little pumpkins, four little, five little, six little pumpkins, seven little, eight little, nine little pumpkins, ten little pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. There you go. Did you like that? Now I have to get all of these off of my hands without making a total disaster or wasting a lot of your time. But we are gonna have some fun today. So let's start with the first book. And I know you're gonna like it because you like Peppa Pig books and at story time. So I'm sure you're gonna like this Halloween Peppa, Peppa Pig book. Peppa Pig and the Halloween Costume. Peppa Pig and the Halloween Costume. It's almost Halloween and Peppa Pig wants to decide what she, costume she's going to wear. And, um, and George loves Halloween too. A lot of people love Halloween. Peppa Pig is looking in the really big um, costume box that she has and she's trying to figure out what to wear. That's what I used to do because my mom always had a lot of costumes in the costume box. I know, says Peppa, I will be a pirate. That would be fun. I will sail the high seas and I'll hunt for buried treasures. But I'm going to be a pirate, said Danny. And I'm going to have a patch over my eye. Maybe I'll be a clown instead, said Peppa. I could do some juggling. Look, that would be fun. I'm, I'm dressing up as a clown, said Pe uh, Pedro. And so that wasn't going to work. Okay, says Pe Peppa, maybe I'll be a nurse. I'll make everyone feel better. That would be good. But Peppa, Peppa says, Susie she Sheep says she's going to be a nurse. Oh, no, everyone wants to be everything she wants to be. Well, maybe I'll be a witch, said Peppa Pig. Oh no, but Candy the cat wants to be a witch. <laughs> oh, she's not having an easy time deciding what to wear. George has an idea. He says, Dino saw. <laughs> he's, he's little. And then Peppa does not want to be a dinosaur. No way. Peppa thinks she'd like to be a brave space traveler. But that's also taken too. Oh, well, everything's taken. Okay, I'm even going to consider being a vegetable. I could be a carrot. Sorry, Rebecca Rabbit says, I'm going to be a carrot. <laughs> Oh, what can I be for Halloween, says Peppa. Maybe a brave cowboy. Maybe a tiger. Maybe a ballerina. Look, she's trying to think of everything. Then she has an idea. I will be a brave, happy, sparkly fairy princess. Look at her. Oh, that's pretty cute, huh? Peppa uh, takes her wings and her crown and everything, but something's missing. That's it. She needs her um, muddy boots to go with it. 
What do you think? Is that a good idea? And then look, they're all together and they go, Happy Halloween! So that's how Peppa Pig decided on her costume. And then let's see. <clears throat> okay, the next song we're gonna do is called Hollow All Around the Haunted House. Okay. All around the haunted house, the bat chased the goblin, the ghost floated overhead, cat went the black cat. Let's do it again. <clears throat> All around the haunted house, the bat chased the goblin, the ghost floated overhead, scat goes the black cat. There you go. That was a pretty short one, wasn't it? Let's do the <clears throat> Plumpy Dumpy Pumpkin. This is, this is really cute in my opinion. Plumpy Dumpy Pumpkin. This one is by Mary Sofoso. Mary Sofoso read this book, wrote this book. She had a good idea when she wrote it, in my opinion. Peter's looking for a pumpkin. A perfect, plumpy, dumpy pumpkin. Not a lumpy, bumpy pumpkin. No, not a lumpy pumpkin like this one. Not a stumpy, grumpy pumpkin, but a sunny, scrumptious pumpkin. This one didn't look too happy. Finally, on a twinning vine, a twinning vine means that there's two leaves on the vine, because you don't like twins. And um, he spies a pumpkin, fat and fine. Whoa, he looks, he goes, I think I like this one. Not too fat, though not too tall, not too short, not, <clears throat> not some squat, lopsided pumpkin, but a glossy, good pumpkin. Oh, I like that one. Do you like it? Why does Peter want a pumpkin? Wants a showy, glowy pumpkin. Pumpkin pickles, could it be pumpkin pickles? Could it be pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pudding, pumpkin fry, <laughs> whoa. Uh, pumpkin salad pumpkin stew. Okay, I've never heard of pumpkin stew. Um, with, uh, with his pumpkin home at last, Peter starts uh, working on it fast. Mm -hmm. He draws some eyes and a nose and a mouse. Oh, whoa, he did a good job. I think that looks really cute. Mm -hmm. Helps his dad carve um, <clears throat> and to place a simply dimply, dimply face. Oh, they carved a really cute face. Light a light behind the grin to start it glowing from within. Oh, look at how pretty that is. I love it when once they get the light in the pumpkin. Later, <clears throat> wins the... Later wins the most applause and really no surprise because, see, he, he, everyone clapped the loudest for his pumpkin. Perfect pumpkins really do make perfect jack-o'-lanterns. You know what I'm gonna read to you next week is a story about a pumpkin that wasn't perfect, but it's a really good story too. But this one was perfect. Okay, now, okay, we're gonna do a little poem here. <clears throat> pumpkin, pumpkin, big and round. I'm glad you're growing up on the ground, way down on the ground. I'm glad you don't grow on a tree, for then you might fall down and hit me, and I wouldn't like that, so that's why we don't want that to happen. Okay, this is our last story for today. This is called Haunted House, and I hope
hope that it's not too scary for you. I don't think it will be. Look. I am <clears throat> a brave little cat and a brave little mouse were walking through the haunted house. See the cat and mouse walking through the haunted house? They're not a bit scared. They feel fine. This is fun. But what is underneath this rug? Let's take a look. Oh, whoa, a monster. Oh, run. <laughs> A brave little cat and a brave little mouse are tiptoeing through the haunted house. And they're not really nervous. They're okay. This is fun. But what's inside the cupboard? Let's take a look. Oh, whoa, a skeleton. Ah, oh, run. But they're not scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A brave little cat and a brave little mouse are sneaking through the haunted house. Look at they're going together. And they're not jittery or jumpy. They're just having fun. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, mummy. Oh, run. Let's do that one again. Uh, the mummy's laughing. A brave little cat and a brave little mouse are creeping through the haunted house. I think you could say it with me by now. And they're a tiny little bit scared, but they're still having a lot of fun. So what is hiding behind here? Let's take a look. Oh, a ghost. Oh, run. Look, that's a pretty cute ghost. A brave little cat. And a brave little mouse are trying to get out of the haunted house. They're ready to go now. He's not, <clears throat> it's not that they're frightened. Of course, no fear. But thank goodness their friend, Mrs. Witch, is here. And she says, I'll take very good care of my friends. And that's the end of the story. Do you hear her? Let's hear her again. Yeah. And there's the witch. Okay, I hope you like that one. And then um, I'm going to um, uh, um, go ahead and do our closing song, I Like You. But first I want to tell you a, a couple of things. Now, on the library website, downylibrary.org, we're having a lot of fun things for Halloween, and we're telling you all about it on there. And it's going to be in the new newspaper, and the, the Parks and Recreation, the library, the Space Center. We're doing a lot of fun things. And um, one thing that I know you're going to want to do is basically uh, you have opportunities to uh, trick or treat in your cars. and um, and it, one of the places, there's going to be four or five, and it's going to be on our website, places that you could go. And one of them is the Space Center. Mm -hmm. And guess who wants you to come and see her? I'm going to be there that night. And I want you guys, I miss you so much. I want you guys to come and see me, okay? Anyway, let's um, have our closing song, and we'll tell you about it because we have a couple more weeks to tell you about it. <clears throat> I like you. There's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. You're my library friends. More, one more time faster. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. I like you, there's no doubt about it. You're my library friends. Have a good week. See you next week. Mm -hmm.